That one there's pulled up nicely. That one there's pulled up nicely. Looks good. Yep. So we're ready to put some of that netting on. Are we? We're gonna wire it on on this end first. Wrap it round, wrap it round. And we'll do the tensioning down this end because this is where we've got uh, this is where we've got the ability to pull. We've got to start picking it out there. We'll run a ratchet strap right through here and we'll uh, we'll pull it in. I think we should tie these dips on. Much like at the other end there where we're doing a wrap around thing, you'd normally you'd, you just uh, you'd just have a bit of wire going around here and on there sort of thing. I'm going to make it so that it tightens on a bit more. That's going to be quite hard because I'm right at the bottom here where I need to be, so it's going to be hard to wind that on. We go around. Like this. And then, and then tie on. See how we go. See how we go. This will be interesting. Um, okay, so I might have got too much off there. No, there's not too much. There's not. Yeah. See how we go. All right. We'll go down. We'll go down. Alright. This one, we want to go the other way. One going one way and one going the other way. So one, you see that? This one came over the top. This one around here, we we'll want to go under the bottom. That's just how, that's just how you do it, you know? You were asking, you're asking how do you do it, and I just said that's how you do it. I don't know, seems right. Get back on the horse. Poked out. Right, and now, see that, that's holding quite well, but it's not where we want it. Um, I have a bit of wood somewhere. I did, didn't I? All right. I'll be just up off the bottom so they don't get moisture, so it's not sitting in the moisture. So I've always tried to dome those things there so that there's no, uh, uh, no moisture that's sitting on. And now we're going to have to try and achieve the same sort of deal. I don't know if that's long enough, but I'm going to give it a go, right? I'm even going to straighten this out. Just in case I'm that much short. Yeah. All right, you just can you can have a look up there. That's the way I'm going to do it. Here's the looking up your address. I'll take this thing out. Looks like something's already started to grow. Uh, spiders. Who knows what those things are? Some nests in there. All right, so we're going to go around here, around the outside. Oh, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. All right, about there. Yeah, this is going to be just like, just perfect. Alright, so, 
One of them will go on the outside, one of them goes inside, or whatever, you know, something like that. Okay. Okay, so there we go. There's one. Perfect, we'll go with that. Now this one here, we need to make sure it tightens up. I don't know, does that feel right? It might be, maybe it's not tight enough. But it is what it is, it's on now. We're going with it. Rookery. That one got away. This one here, I think we'll snip him. Give him this snip. Oh, this way. Had these, these fencing bolt cutters. These are these are just bolt cutters, but. I had these since I was nine or ten, and I got my own fencing kit. This is, this is the same same pliers I used when I was fencing when I was nine or ten years old. I took it seriously. It was a big deal back then. <sighs> Learning a skill like that. Oi, oi, yeah, oh, I don't know. Tell you what. Tell you what. I think I'm going to need to weld a cap on here. <laughs> I think that's what's going to have to happen. Uh, yeah, it's just so it can't get away because that did want to get away there a bit, didn't it? Yeah, it is what it is. We're, we're, we're good. We're good for now. We're good for now, aren't we? We're good for now. Should we go and do a few more then? One, two more posts with that sort of gear. We need uh, four more bits of. Stuff. I'll see if this these leftovers are long enough. They don't quite need the same level of uh, tension because they're not trying to hold it up or down. All right, so I don't really have to go around the merry-go-round. Use a little dip in there, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, let's go. Let's do something. I don't really need to use these things, not on this thin wire like this. Just sometimes it makes it neater. Sometimes you can do it neater by hand because you're not actually get scratching the uh, scratching the stuff off. If you do make them, if you do make one of these, make sure you sort of chamfer out the inside bit of that, make it rounded if you can, just so that it doesn't. Um, you, know, you just need a little bit of flat flat bar, something like that. Make a nice one of those. Anyone that's done fencing knows this already though, so I'm wasting my time telling you this. Am I? I don't know.
Yeah. Now, where's that bit of wood? Get this down on the line. Yeah. I'll do another one. You like the bird song tracks? Whoop! <laughs> Watch out, eh? Tell you what, DJI makes the best cameras, I reckon. You know, I don't know that I've had a GoPro, but I've just watched lots of YouTube videos and. If you could snip together all of the bits where they say, oh, well, I would have had that video, except, uh, you know, it's the camera stopped recording or it, it's lost it's lost the footage or, <laughs> you know. Well, this one's got to go underneath. Hang on. You know, rookie mistake there almost. And so, you know. But the old GoPro, he makes... Um, he makes all the all the attachments, you know, like that, all the uh, all the brackets and what have you. And um, I think if these sort of action cameras are going to be hanging out in the, in the shed more often, you know, maybe they need to invest in a line of safety glasses for GoPros or action cameras. Yeah, you know, be more accurate. Um, I mean. You'd wear them, right? After what's just happened. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. I'll just, uh, just in case anyone runs their hand along the fence there. Sticking up like a bit of a barb there. <sighs> Barbs get a bad name, you know. Bad rap. Not as bad as Karen's. <laughs> oh, geez, you wouldn't want to be Karen, called Karen these days. Just like you wouldn't want to be called Joan. And back in the days of, uh, well, when I just, <laughs> just learning how to do bonfires. <laughs> what have we got to put on the bonfire? I don't know. What about Joan? Poor Joan. We well, might have a bit left over. All right, so we're right on the mark there, so I don't need to lift that up. I got oh, I'll lift it up a little bit. There you go. They give me enough clearance to. Do the thing. Is it? Does it? Does it? Oh, all the way around. Jeez, what am I doing? Come on, one more. I'm not going to get it in my. Let's give you the snip, sunshine. Yeah. Woo, where'd you go? And then. This one. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, there we go. You the 
the snip. Just, just you though, and the mates. Okay. Where's the mark down here? That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. A little bit of a low spot here, like I said, I'll have to fill that in. Yeah. This one here sunk a bit. Of course, there's a good reason why. Um, so looking up into the sky again, one more time. One more time from the top. Say it again, Sam! Come on, there we go. Pull those faces sometimes. Yeah, you know, there are faces that are. You know what's happening when something's someone's pulling a certain face. It's like oh, straight away you just know that's oh that's what's going on there because that's the special face that's getting pulled for that. You know, am I wasting my time saying all this stuff? I wonder where all those bits of metal are going to go. I generally try to pick all that sort of stuff up, but some of them look like they're probably getting getting away from me. If you do go to the uh, extreme extravagance of uh, buying one of these things that you can just make yourself, you know, just a little bit of flat plate and flat bar and strip steel. It doesn't have to be round like this. Just a little bit of flat flat plate that big and uh, drill a hole in the end, you know. And um, But this one, yeah, it's got a hole up the end. And you can sort of, you can use that as well, just saying. I don't know, well, I just sort of forgot that that was there, I just saw it and I thought, oh well, that's how you use about it. Yeah, so I had to split the difference there. See, I'm, I'm sort of along, well, there's a bit of a dip in this bar too, I should have fixed that, but uh, and this, this one's higher, you know, and I sort of, yeah, I haven't got the height, the, the, anyway, anyway it, it, it'll be fine, it'll look good. You will never notice, now that I've pointed it out though, you'll probably say something, won't you? Right, so I've got, I'm tied on, I'm tight, I'm probably all good, you know. Um, I've got a wire on the thing on that end, but I've, I'll put a couple of guide wires up, you know. Put a couple of guide wires up. So we're ready to we're ready to get into this now. You know, like seriously, do, do a proper job. Do you think I overcated? <laughs> I've got a grain crunch from there. You know, like, funny, you know, you can... You can try and pull that shit off, you know. Oh, yeah, this is if you if you went to your maths class. And you, <laughs> <laughs> There's times like that. That, uh... Pride comes before a fall, doesn't it? That's what they mean. That's what they mean by that. <sighs> so, well, that's good. I like it. I like it. Um, that sticks up a bit funny, but... Yeah, she's good. She is good. Obviously, it's a her now. Okay. So, I want them... Pulling to the center of the post like that is, that's fine. Um, 
Pick that up, throw that out of the way. Waiting for the water tank to start overflowing at some stage, and I'll have to race down the hill and turn off the uh, turn off the pump, submersible pump under the ground. Give us some fresh water. Aren't we lucky? We've got to go and make a uh, a lacing tool to wire on the um, wire on this stuff. We might as well do that. Um, I mean, I stand around and admire my work so much, I never get anything done, you know. It's a problem. It is a big problem. Just do it. Move on. Leave it to someone else to admire or bag, whatever it is. Now, previously, when we were doing the rock garden, we found an archaeological find. We found this thing. <clears throat> so now we need to make it so that... Uh, we can wire on. Now I found this wire down in my fencing gear. It's quite heavy. It's um, 2.5 gal tie wire. Let's go and see what this other stuff that I got was. And while we're over there we'll drill, we'll, we'll make this so that we can... I'll show you, I'll just show you. So we'll, we'll modify this up so we can do the tie wire. Where is the tie wire? Where did it go? I've got to, I've got to tidy this up, haven't I? Hey, get back here. It's not there. Oh, here it is. Here's the tie wire. 1.57 mil gel tie wire. Hmm. Oh, look, I've, got, I've got the two sizes now anyway. I've got the 2.5 and, and the 1.57. So, we can do something. What are we doing? We're going to drill a hole. Drill a hole, let's just drill a hole. Time for a tidy up, Jim Bob. You just tidied this up and now you made a mess. Don't you learn? <sighs> Alright. found anywhere on the internet that says how to do this. This is how we used to do it back in the day when I was a kid and uh, oh, I don't know I was, I was 10 or 12, 10 or 11, 12 and uh, my dad had recently bought the farm. Not like that. He's still alive. Um, no. <laughs> and uh, it was a run down farm. It was 150 acres it was. Uh, 150 acres, and uh, it had been run down. It was over, over, overrun with gorse. The um, people that that had previously owned it uh, well, let's just say. Well, I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. I think it was something along the lines of um, they sold the farm. The bloke sold the farm. And uh, I think he inherited the farm from his from his father. And uh, let's just say the whole place, all the riverbeds, were all full of gin bottles. Wherever you went, there was gin bottles. They floated down the river and there was gin bottles all over the farm. 150 acres, it's a big valley, a nice big 20 acre paddock up the top. And, uh, well, this is gonna break. But, yeah, and, and it had a house on it, a bit of a tiny bit of a shed, not much. That went down, actually. And, uh, Anyway, the story's taking way too long, isn't it? Way too long. There was some deal where he sold the farm, but he was allowed to stay on it. In the house. The run-down old house. Until he died. I don't know. People do deals like that. I don't know. It's strange. But 
with that money, all he did was buy gin. I think his wife had died from gin. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. Anyway, let's roll with the punches. Um, we're going to have to make a shorter one of these. Anyway, he, he, he got to stay on the property. And uh, until he died. And he spent all his money that he sold the farm with on gin. And I think when the money ran out, that's when he died. It's sort of sad, isn't it, how alcohol can get some people. And, uh, sounds like a tale of a life wasted, you know? Um, yeah, but anyway, this farm, it was, it was a, it was run down, it was all covered in gorse and all sorts of methods we, uh, employed to, uh, Tame the, tame the property. You couldn't do anything with it. It wasn't even forest. It was just, it was just uh, land that had been taken over by gorse, which is just a weed. And I remember we had uh, we had some big bulldozers running along the top ridge with some big drum barrel thing. That would they would winch down and it would go and squash all the gorse. Had big cutting blades and stuff like that. They'd winch it down, down the hill, and then pull it back up and then go along a little bit down and you know did all that. You know, I don't know what that cost now, but that really been good. and we pretty much had no fences. You know, the fences on there were just real rough um, fences, and uh, we had was called a PEP gang, uh, which is uh, people that are on the dole, on welfare, and uh, they're Amerifolks, so you, know, you get special perks when you're Amerifolks, when you're on the dole, you have to go and work for it, <laughs> on someone's farm, but you get paid extra for that, but they were up there and they were chopping down all the monica trees and scrub and trying to, trying to tame it. Only thing that ever, ever worked was when we went and bought. Oh, I remember the first truckload was like 200 goats, 170 goats maybe, and then another truckload. And we had about probably 250, 300 goats at one stage. I had nine, seven, I was allowed to have my own one. I think that was to, you know, oh, well, you can have your own, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> you make people feel part of the solution and that will work for free. Uh, no, I had my own goats and I was like, they had my own ear tags on them and everything. And, oh, it was good fun. I was a goat farmer when I was a little kid. Hey. <laughs> oh, just like being back in Afghanistan. No, it's not funny right now, is it? Anyway, let's put that back. We don't need that right. So the story goes that uh, we had a farm. Where do I get to start the story? Why? Who knows? I never know. I never know. I, I just go off on a tangent. I go down another rabbit hole and down another rabbit hole. Sometimes I get to come back to the starting point. Sometimes not. But, uh, we're at the gates. Let's talk about the gates. Well, there's no way you can, if you know anything about gates, there's no way that you can uh, make them eat what you want unless you fence them in. Uh, I mean, you can just let a whole lot of them go wild and they'll, they'll just go and eat what they want. But if you go and fence them into a paddock, and we're talking steep, 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 Hill, big valley, super steep in places, and so that's where Ray, uh, Ray Amarano got a job working on the farm. We had a little caravan out there; he'd stay in there by the by the creek. And uh, lots of stories about Ray Amarano. Yeah, yeah. But we ended up, you know, this 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 old farm came from nothing. 
he fenced it all up and I gave him a hand and you know and a couple of other fencing crews and ex forestry workers as well um, I remember that's the first time I saw a little um, FJ40 forestry one oh man they were cool and uh, and those fellas put in deer fencing and this other fellow with a big tractor that had the big woof or woof or whacker thing you can put all these big lines of oh, I think they must have been copper's logs big six inch maybe even eight inch posts um, you know, 12 foot high sometimes 10 12 foot high though you know like six foot was the minimum but you had to go another couple of extra feet high um, for the um, for the wild deer we had we had deer we tra had deer traps in the middle of the Uruwaras and uh, and me, me, me dad and his mate they were partners in this deer recovery venture Barry O'Connor and the, one of their mates Bruce Kingham had the, had the helicopter and uh, little Hughes 500 I think he had a C for a start and I don't know if he had a tea towel it was a C man he could do some things with that thing he was a scary fella and uh bring bring these deer back these deer they could jump a six foot fence no problem whatsoever um the six foot deer fence wasn't enough you had to put another another run of mesh at the top and sometimes some barbed wire as well so especially where the wild deer came back to in the deer yards and that first couple of pens um those deer had to, they had to have the higher fences and um and the tamer deer could go there but that didn't happen until we tamed the place and the goats the goats are what did that the goats ate all the gorse and, and brought it back to pasture and we ended up putting a whole bunch of um, trees in there I think at the moment it still is forestry it is pine trees um, uh, so gee a lot of a lot of stuff happened in that on that farm in, in Gee, it wouldn't have even been 10 years. It wouldn't have even been 10 years since he bought it and, uh, and I was there. So, when, yeah, so that was, I'd have to be 9, 10, 10, maybe 10 when he bought it. Um, I left that town when I was 17, 18, 18, maybe 18. Yes, eight years later. And then he sold the farm not that long after. So, but ten years. But in that time, in that time, went from nothing, just overgrown, to being brought back into line with fencing on all the steep part that we, we goes. We tried cows for a while, but they they, they didn't bother eating. They were lazy. Uh, we had um, twenty acres of potatoes at the top every year, and uh, I think. We end up buying the back part of the valley as well, so that 150 acres turned into 200 acres. So it just tied up that back part of the valley, and um, so we had it all fenced. We had trees growing as well, forestry. We had firewood sort of stuff happening, and and uh, we had the bottom acres were done as a, a kiwi fruit farm. Um, so it was kiwi fruit that was all new at the time. We'd, we'd tried watermelons and pumpkins and squash and all that sort of stuff. And it turned into kiwi fruit in the end. Uh, we had, oh, I don't know how many acres it was of avocado trees, put all the avocado trees in. So, you know, like, it was amazing how quickly that place got turned around. He must have soaked a lot of money into it. I mean, I put a lot of time into it, and he, him and a lot of his mates put a lot of time into it. Um, good fun. Something about I think my grandfather had wanted to buy that property uh, when the the big depression hit, and he didn't get to buy it. So later on, my dad bought it, you know. So that was nice, and I was there for it too, you know. So that was that was nice. And um, yeah, Snowsills Road. Still remember the phone number. I got it. I got it inscribed on all my tools. <laughs> it got to be landline two five seven four six. Phone number inscribed on all my tools. I reckon. Would I find any tools that have got that on them? Yeah. Have I got anything? 
Have I got anything that has got that on it? From back in the day. That will have. Find it. There it is. That's my name. No phone number. Hmm. What else? What else? This one. These are my side cutters from back in the day. When I was a young mechanic. Maybe not. Well, what's that there? No. Now and then I see some things like, you know, the old verniers or something like that. And it's got the it's got the phone number on there as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny. No one has a landline. The things don't things don't, don't stay the same anymore. All right, let's go and um, let's go and wrap some wire around this and go make something happen. All right, let's go and make something happen. We'll take the um, we'll take that with us. Let's get this uh, let's get this fence rolled out. Hey, Amen. Come on. Come on. Beware of recoil when you let this thing go, they say. I'm just going to give it a go. Just cut it. Wear gloves, it says. Where's the gloves? Okay, that's right. I've got it the right way around. Is it the right way around? Yeah. The hooks are facing the inside. might sound like, like one of those internet rant bitches, but that's supposed to be 20 meters. 20 meter roll. That's what it says. That's what it says there. 20 meters. 20 meters. And probably once it stretches out it might be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's exactly 20 metres. Nothing to complain about. <laughs> Some reason I had in my head it was 10 metres, but then I've just gone and done these other things and I've only had 25 metres. So 20 metres, that's perfect. Hmm, perfect. Well done. Nothing to waste. Alright, um, I need to wire that on here. Uh, let's get some pliers, let's get some lacing gear, and uh, and make this thing happen. Now we've got to get that over on that. I'll set you up over here. <coughs> you can see me struggle. First we'll do this thing. We're going to put some of this on this so we can weave it through. You, you knew what I was doing, didn't you? Can't get anything past you guys. Sounds of Sunday. You hear that lawnmower in the back there? Now yeah, I'm bleeding. Bloody hell. One little momently, momentary lapse of concentration. That's all it takes. Then you're bleeding. That's blood. Real blood. My blood. Bloody hell. Okay, so somehow. Somehow, we're going to make ourselves, I don't know how to do this. I'm doing something, I'm making this up as I go. I'm tying this down, and then I'm going to push this like that. Bloody lawnmower. Gave me a bloody finger. <laughs> right. 
This is a lucky find, this. This is a bit of wood. Just perfect for what we need. Don't waste anything, people. Don't waste anything. Find something here. What can I use that for? Use your brain. Use your brain. What can I use that for? Is that useful? I don't have to hoard everything. We don't all have enough room to hoard everything, but don't waste things. So I've got to do this end, and I've got to do the other end, and I've got to do the little fence mesh panel, which I may not have enough for. Well, I'll have, hopefully I will. I'll stretch it enough so I do. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we are. That's what we're doing. That'll do. That'll do, Peg. That'll do. That'll do. So let's go and get ready to wire this on into place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull that and bring it in here. Hopefully don't not knock you guys off. And just You might be able to... That's probably not bad there, right? You can see something. Get out of my boots. Get out of my boots. Alright. Now the trick is, I'm not sure how to start the first bit of tie. I can't remember. But I'm going to have to make it up. Let's just get something going. Get something going where tie it onto here for a start. Okay. We'll start it somewhere, don't we? Well, the bottom can't move down. The top can move up. So let's start at the bottom. Let's try a special knot. Try it. Let's just try that. Yeah, why not? There we go. We do have these little, uh, tiny little holes there. They might be for this. That'll be alright. Go to here. And our first one, I suppose we're going to come around from the outside. Yeah? Are we? Yeah? Okay. We'll make it up as we go along. I think we want to be fairly very much down there. And we want to get this. We want to get that right there. So we're going to go through here. like knitting or something isn't it sure it's like something I'm sure you're all yelling at the thing saying, nah, that's not how you do it on YouTube. And back in the day, this is how it was. And when I went down the fencing place, I said, hey, you guys have those fancy new brackets? Nah, these bikes do a lot of this fencing. So, they're the main, one of the main fencing suppliers in town. They're like, nah, you just wore it on. Yeah, there's some wire. Like, cool. Someone still does it that way. I thought that was cool. A 
like that. Alright. Okay. So, now I need to uh, bring that back on itself somehow. Get some tension. Am I going to double wire it? No, it didn't look messy, wouldn't it? I'm going to go around through it again, though. Not, not, not all of them, just the top one. And what am I going to do with that? We'll start by cutting it. This is the bit where I wasn't really sure what to do. But you can judge me all you like. What do you reckon? Just wire it onto there. Doesn't seem right. I'm going to wire it onto there. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, I don't like this, but anyway. I don't like that. How to terminate the... I'm not teaching anything. I'm telling you, maybe. I just don't know what I'm doing all the time. But I'm willing to have a go. I'm willing to concede that might not be the way to do it. We'll see how it goes. Got a bit of mesh sitting there. You know, we can pull on that now. Give it a yank at the other end. How are we going to do that? Well, we'll do it the same as the last fence, right? Let me go and reclaim the bits we need. I think we'll reuse the same thing. There's a bit of rope that I used and it was just perfect. Just don't know where it is. I have a fear that it's down in there somewhere. Oh. But that's the bit that we need to get. We need to pull that out, so we need to get a little doofy thing for that. There's the doofy thing. We need that and the rope. The doofy thing undoes the other thing. And we need the rope. Oh, look at what I found. That's the rope there. Oh, yeah. Get off. Not your time to play yet. Later, and then this one we need him as well. So we'll take him and him, him and him. One, ha 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 ha. Get back, get back on it. You know, whenever you fall off the horse, just get straight back on. Don't cry. Too much crying these days. Just get on the horse. Get on the horse, man. You can do it if you really try can do it. We gotta work out how much strain we reckon we can get out of this. So we'll pull it up by hand. Then we'll hook on Pudding, pudding says to rehydrate, you know.
You gotta keep your waters up, eh? I can feel it in me water. Old Crohn's used to say that sort of stuff. I know. So I've hooked on back there. And... Oh, give that a go in a minute. Hook that on. Sure, what's in here? <laughs> what the hell? Pull down a big hole here. Alright. Ooh, I need a bit more, don't I? I tell you, I'm making this up as I go along. Now I know what I'm doing. Good job. Alright. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to put these bits of wood on. Get the old bit of rope. Pull it out. Because so what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to... Uh, pull it up tight, find which one sits there just nice and then lace it on and then cut the other piece out. Why not? Might work. Tell me if you don't think it works. I do have this habit of not listening to people. I don't like what they're saying. <laughs> oh, that's, not, that's not true. I'll listen. Look on my face might be a bit disappointing for you though. <laughs> Gotta make sure we're on the same strand. Oh, that's not good. Let's put a bit of rope on there. Try and get a little bit of a triangle action going. Get out, get out of it, yeah. Get out. Some sort of fire pitch. I even just put a little bit on here as an extra. What the body say? I don't know. Nobody say that. Don't. Don't know knots, tight lines. No, nobody say that. Bodies are quite proud of their uh, not tying abilities. So that'll pull up. Come on, boy. Oh! Funny the first time.
Alright. Let's see, let's see what we've done here. Have we done enough? We make sure we don't stretch it. The internet won't be happy if we stretch it. So at the moment. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> that is, it is a bit stretched. See, oh yeah, that will pull up just perfect there and there. See how, yeah. yeah, that's pretty well perfect there. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Get out of there. Why are you me a fence up, Lizzie? Gotta make sure we're not snagged on anything. Look at these buggers. Make sure we're not snagged here. Yeah, or we were, see? We were. So this bit could, could have been a bit looser. We gotta make sure we're not snagged here. Right. Now, what do you have? What's the test? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> it's tight. Oh, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Right, I like it. I like it. So now we've got to go and find our mark where it lines up with what we're going to wire onto. Just, uh, you know, make a nice fence and you can get all this... Rubbish in it straight away. Mm -hmm. Where are oh, yeah, right on there, right on there. We'll wire it right on there. But we're gonna lift that up a bit. Stand back and have a look. I got a job to do. Just, just give me a minute. Hydrate. Pudding. Says hydrate. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Up we go. I have to go and find these hog ties, don't I? Oh, I get this done. All that's left is to find the hog ties. Watch out, hog. Get in there. Stay. Stay. Pull that up for a start. We've got it pretty even down here. If I just wire that that series there on, that's going to be pretty good. I think we're good. How do you tell? Like this? Yeah, that's tight. It's tight. It's tight as I want it. Because once I uh, Tight to the top and bottom, it brings it tight again. Yeah. We'll wind this on, we'll twist it up, we'll call it good. Maybe that's why those brackets, those special brackets were invented. No one really knew how to tie this off. Sure, someone will be able to tell me. I'd love to see the picture. Make a little video, please. How to do that? I'd love to see. Couldn't find anything on the internet how to do it. Doesn't mean that someone doesn't know. Yeah, the old um, the manual for uh, the manual for cyclone fencing wire. 
from the 19, yeah, 40s. All typed out and type right and type there. That would, that would, I should have looked, I should have read it more. It's, it's probably in there, I'll go and look in there. Yeah, I'll let you know. Now we're going to, we can take this off in a second. Long time coming. Where are you, my baby blues? Baby blues. Baby blues. I've been hoping you'd say that you'd still find a way into my heart, baby blue. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo. And that's how you do it.